the best legendary hand cannon in the game is back and obtainable once again. I know a lot of us were disappointed we couldn't get that perfect god roll rose for PvP, but lucky for us, it will be more convenient than ever to obtain all the previous competitive weapon rewards. Which as of now, we've only had the rose and the mercurial overreach sniper. You see here, if you head over to Shax, go down to legendary gear, focus to coding. You see here, we have the rose and the mercurial overreach, which just cost 3 crucible engrams to get. But there is a limit to how many you can do per week, and I actually really like the system that they incorporated for this season. Limit for amount of weapons you can focus each week it will be based on your rank, which I actually think is pretty interesting. You see See here on the left, untested get zero, copper can do one, bronze two, silver three, gold four, platinum five, adept six, ascendant seven. I feel like this is a good change for people who are really serious about competitive crucible and really want to grind out those old weapons and never got the chance to get the perfect roll for. And also this promotes competitive crucible and makes people want to go out and grind it more than they were before. Before people would just play three games on each character and get that weapon and that was basically it. But now the higher rank you get in competitive, the more access you have to older weapons which i think is a very good system i think other people will enjoy it as well and if you play competitive a decent amount like me you know that the ranking system was kind of bogus and there'd be some times where you'd win and beat a really good team and only get like 12 points and then the next game you lose and you lose over 200 but they've made some changes to that. You see here, they say under competitive rank adjustments in season 23, we're making some changes to how rank points are adjusted post-match. In general, we are simplifying the formula and putting more emphasis on wins and losses. We are removing the performance factor, wins and losses are what matters. We are removing inflation protection, we will no longer reduce your rank point gains if your rank exceeds your skill. We will retain deflation protection, so if your rank is below your skill, it will accelerate you upward. And I think all this is great because depending on what your skill level is, it'll help you get to that rank faster so you don't have to play as much and get mad about not getting as many points and you just have a smooth climb as long as you win it's not going to be about performance as much anymore it's just going to be about getting that win which i think is really important for competitive and another important thing they did is they removed promotion and relegation matches for any rank that is not going into either adept or ascendant because they only want to make you prove yourself if you're trying to get into that higher elite rank status personally i think this makes the most sense and i'm happy they incorporated it into competitive before i hop into some pvp gameplay with the rose i want to quickly talk about what the best traits are for it if you don't know already for the first trait column i would either go over something like rapid hit slide shot or perpetual but all the options are pretty good they also have elements of capacitor so it really depends how your play style is which perks you want to look out for and then for the second trait column they have explosive payload eye of the storm opening shot and range finder also isn't terrible if you like the increased zoom but of course whatever your play style is look out for that perfect roll barrels up to you and for the magazine slot, of course, accurized rounds is definitely the best option. And then for the masterwork, of course, range or stability is perfect. And then as a little bonus for the mercurial overreach, the triggers you want to look out for are snapshot opening shot. Basically, like any sniper, you want to look out for that. And then you can get ricochet rounds and whatever barrel fits best for you. And this sniper is pretty good. If you've ever used the beloved, it's basically the same thing. So yeah, competitive is definitely worth grinding to get these old weapons and the new pulse rifle. I'm excited to make a video about that in the future. But for now, let's get into some gameplay. All right, how about just some checkmate control we got this season now, huh? Interesting to see how this goes. I know like it's hard to get special and everything, so I'm kind of curious to see how this works. I'm curious if it's even worth running special on these new game modes. On this on this new game mode in particular. I wonder if it's just better to run like a subby and a hand cannon, I don't know. But it's really just gonna remind me of like the old Charles the Nine setup, how it was. Back when there was really no special unless you got, you know, the, the heavy ammo block. The good old days. Nice. So I've always loved the rose, man. It feels so good to shoot. I am... Transversive steps and hand cannons are just a must. I'm so used to, like transverses are like the only thing I use in PvP now. Basically you never have to worry about reloading unless I'm really in a tough spot. Where the hell is everybody? I'm gonna peek out here. I hear a thorn. Want a little streak right now? Let's go. I really wanna get that thorn catalyst. Once I get that, I'm definitely gonna test that thing out. I'm um, gonna go left to get this guy at B. Aw, oh, shit, there's two. Damn, I did not know there's two. I'm mm, gonna go B. Ooh. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> nice. Ooh. 
Oh gosh. We're good. I have sniper shots. Oh my gosh. I get some space because the whole damn team. Ooh, close. I'm like so dead. I'm getting pushed. <laughs> oh my god, get away from me. I didn't get away from those people. You guys are really good at staying together and actually playing like a team. Why, I keep my snipes? Oh, that's sick. Oh, I'm rusty. First game on. Sorry, guys. Got one, but I'm dead. Oh! Oh my gosh, I'm alive. <laughs> Ooh. Got one week. Eek here. Got one. That's it. Other guy's gone. Steal that. I'm a little rusty, but I made up for it. We're okay. There's another one. Yeah, first game on sniping is never good, but, you know, we're getting kills. That's all that matters. I have my super. I kind of want to use it. Peek left. Got him. Where the hell are these dudes? Ooh. Got him. I've always loved this hand cannon. It really is just a beast. I get closer. Ah, trade. I missed one of my shots. All good. Uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to uh, playing some comp this season. It's going to be dope. It really gives you more of a reason to play comp, which I think is huge. Because I feel like a lot of people don't play comp. Especially, you know, when Trials is around. They really... Oh! But yeah, when Trials is around, people really don't play comp unless they're sick of Trials. So I feel like it gives more of a reason for people to grind it out. Especially since you're only really able to get three a week. And if you get to max rank, you can get seven, which is kind of crazy. Definitely hard to get there. And not many people will. Oh. I'm doing this. Worth it. <laughs> That's what you get for solo super and me, man. Slither out of that situation. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Trying to fight a super is done with me. Alright, a good game. That was a good game. Checkmate Crucible is pretty cool. I mean, not getting a sniper every time we spawn in is kind of weird. That Trials of the Nine stuff was fun. You know, really just focusing more on primaries, but maybe they're trying to bring that back, and I'm all for it, honestly. I really like that. How'd I do? 2.7, not bad first game. Let's go. Well, guys, that brings us to the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and enjoyed the gameplay in the background. I'm really excited for these new competitive crucible changes, and I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the comments how you feel about them below. And until next time, my name is Epoxy. Peace.